Hello, in this video I'll be going over how to set up controller input in our game, which will allow us to control the player using a controller. I'm in my flash project where my character has the ability to run super fast and slow down time, and we're going to map all his abilities to a controller. There will be a link in the description of how I originally made this, but this controller input will work with any project. So, the first thing we want to do is head over to settings and go to project settings. And then we want to scroll down to input. And then we want to go and click on the action mappings. Action mappings will allow us to map certain actions to certain keys or buttons and will allow us to know when they're being pressed down or released. So if we click underneath the jump, we can see that this button is mapped to the gamepad face button and I'll just show an image of this. And then if we go to access mappings, access mappings will allow us to map certain keys or buttons for events that have a continuous range. So for example, if we go to the move forward, we can see that it's the gamepad, left thumb axis Y. So if we can move this, we'll continuously move forward in this direction. So now that we've got that, I'm gonna add some action mappings for my character. So I'm gonna add an action mapping so that he can trigger his super speed ability. So I'll just call this super speed. I'm gonna make it so that my player has to press a button on his controller and he'll activate his super speed. So I'm gonna make it the left trigger. So I'm gonna look for gamepad, left trigger. And I'm gonna add another action mapping for when he slows down time. So if we just remove this, and I'm just going to call this slow-mo. And in the keys, I'm just going to look for the gamepad, face button, right, and when I press this, it will activate the slow-mo. So now we just need to set this all up in our character so that it works and is compatible with our character. Because by default, our character can move around with the controller because that's set up by our engine. But we want to add more stuff, we have to set that up ourselves. So I'm going to look for my super speed run. Because this is where I did all my super speed blueprints. And when it's pressed, I'm going to make it trigger his super speed. So I'll just delete this. And here's why I set up a slow mo ability. So I'm going to look for my slow mo button, which I made. And I'll just delete this. And when this is pressed, it will do slow mo. And when it's released, we'll go back to our normal speed. So I just click compile and play this. We'll now be able to set this up. So when I click play, when I press my left trigger button, he activates his super speed and he'll move super fast. And then when I press the slow mo button, it'll be all in slow mo. So now we've set up controller input in our game. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Ooh.